Today we are looking at matrix. We are going to describe and actually explain what is a matrix. Let us start. Basically, we say a matrix is a, is a rectangular array of numbers. Now, what you see here, these are examples of different types of matrices. Now, you can see this one having one, two, three, four numbers. You also look at matrix C, which is three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight. You can see the difference. We have rows and columns. The first one you can see that we have two columns and two rows. The, the second one which is B, we have only one column. We have one column, we have three rows. It's one column, one, two, three rows. Looking at C, we have two rows and three columns. Looking at D, we have one row and three columns. You look at E, we have one column and one row. So these are different types of matrices. We need to explain a matrix in detail so that throughout this lesson video you won't get confused of what you are talking about. Now you need to know that a matrix consists of rows and columns. Now we all know that horizontal, we call them rows, and then vertically, we call them columns. In this case, you can see that we have two rows and three columns. When you check some of your test books of linear algebra, you will come across this notation m by n sometimes they say m by n matrix when they generalize a certain concept under this linear algebra what you need to know is that n stands for rows multiplied by n stands for columns in most cases m by n we use it when the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. Now we use this notation to describe a specific matrix. In this case, looking at matrix A, you can see that we have two rows and three columns. This matrix is a two by three matrix. Remember, this stands for two columns, I mean two rows and three columns. Looking at this one, how many columns do you have two? How many rows do you have two? So we say this is a two by two matrix. Looking at this one, how many columns? We have one, two, three, four. How many rows? We have one, two. So this is a two by four matrix I believe you can see how we use the, this notation to describe a matrix let us look at elements numbers inside the matrix you call them elements and then I want us to emphasize on this we explain what is exactly happening looking at the first element it's a11 some of you, you might think that this is A11. It's actually not A11. It describes the position of this element. Now, what is happening? Remember this, we call them columns, and then this ones are rows. This is row number one. This is row number two. Let me actually do this. This is row one, row two. This is column one this is column two now a one one remember it's row multiplied by column looking at this subscript you must know that 
This one stands for row. This one stands for column. So we look at an element which is on row number one, column number one, which is this number. For this one, we are looking at, it's one, two. We are looking at an element which is on row number one and column number two, which is which number? This one. Same goes to this one. This is row number two. That's why you see two here. And column number one. This is row number two, column number two. So don't be confused when you see A11. This is not 11. It's 11. Row number one, column number one. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. So if you're looking for element 1, 3, we are going to look at row number 1, column number 3. So this is 1, 2, 3. I'm talking about columns. This is row 1, 2, 3. Now you're looking at row number 1, which is this row. Column number 3, which is this column. So it's this number. It's equals to 1. I hope you can see this. Three, one. So this is row number 3. Then this is column number 1. So you can see that it's this number, 7. We need to find the link between linear systems, linear systems and matrix. We normally use matrix to solve linear systems, especially those linear systems whereby we have three variables and multiple of linear systems. Suppose we have these two linear systems and then we want to represent them in a matrix form. So it's A, it's equals to. Representing these linear systems in a matrix, we only consider the coefficients and also the solution. Same goes to this one and the solution. So the elements will be 2, 3, 7, 5, 1, and 3. So these two systems, when represented using a matrix, it's this one. And you can see this one, it's a 2 by 3 matrix. Let us look at this set of linear systems. You might find a question like this and then, and, and the question says you must solve for x1, x2, x3. We need to use a matrix. There's no other way. So how do you represent this? We have 5, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 4, negative 2, negative 2. I'm talking about these numbers here. Then I'm here now. Now looking at this equation, you can see that the first term there's nothing, so this simply means we have 0, 2, negative 8, and negative 6. So this is the matrix form of this set of linear systems. Types of matrices. The first one is row matrix. You can see this is an example whereby we only have one row in a matrix. We said to say this is a matrix. Actually, it's a row matrix. Column matrix, it only has one column. Then we see that matrix, it's a column matrix. Rectangular matrix, you can see that the shape is rectangular like. We have two rows and three columns. We might have 
three rows and four columns. This type of matrix you see it's a rectangular matrix. Square matrix. This one you can see the shape it's square like. This is a two by two matrix. You must know that another example of a square matrix is a three by three, four by four. So as long as the number of rows is the same as the number the number of columns, we say that matrix is a square matrix. A diagonal matrix. It's a matrix such that the diagonal elements are non-zero and then the rest of the elements are zero. We say that matrix is a diagonal matrix. Scalar matrix is similar to diagonal, but you can see that this are the same. So whenever we have these diagonal elements the same and the rest of the elements as zero, we say this matrix is a scalar matrix. Identity or unit matrix this matrix is used in most, mostly in mathematics 1503. That is the first linear algebra. This one is similar to diagonal matrix, but you can see that this diagonal elements they must be equal to one, and the rest of the elements zero. Also, this three by three matrix you can see that we have diagonal elements which and then the rest of the elements it's zeros looking at triangular matrix you can see these zeros they form a triangle like shape then all other elements are not zero same goes to b when you find this particular uh, matrix we say this is a triangular matrix. This type of a matrix, we say it's a null or zero matrix, whereby all the elements are zeros. A transpose of a matrix, it's something like this. Suppose we have a matrix A, we want to transpose this matrix, it will form a to the power t that is how we indicate the transpose matrix of a now you can see that let me actually do this this is one two three we have eight four six for at the first row will become our first column so we actually have one two three and then the second row will become our second column, which is eight, four, six. So you can see that a two by three matrix becomes a three by two matrix. This is how we transpose a matrix. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.